What's up everybody, this is Brandon with Jarhead Diagnostics coming at you with another one. So on this video we're going to diagnose a short to ground issue on a Jeep Grand Cherokee. I'm going to show you my trick on doing this diagnosis without having to constantly waste fuses while just randomly plugging them in. Um, <clears throat> so follow along with me and we'll get on into it. And let me go ahead and start with saying sorry about a little bit of background noise. I was on the side of a busy road and then also um, I filmed it on my cell phone and I forgot to switch it to landscape so the picture is going to be a little bit different but just follow along it's pretty quick simple and we'll get into it what's going on everybody it's Brandon Jarred Diagnostics I'm just going to do a quick video for you this is a um, short to ground issue on this vehicle uh, backstory it was at another shop it had a heater core put on it put in and then ever since then the power windows and any of the dome lights and any interior light didn't work at all. So <clears throat> this shop called me in to do the diagnostics for them real quick. I'm gonna show you how I start it and we'll go from there. So the way I like to do it instead of constantly putting fuses in is you take a test light and you put it in the fuse location. And so the test light will absorb all of the current flow that's going in and show you that there is a short to ground so as you can tell at this at this fuse location which is fuse 12 on this Jeep Grand Cherokee there's a short to ground so the next step you need to do is determine where at on the circuit there is a short to ground it's so like I said fuse 12 is right here and whenever it comes down it goes to the power door locks and interior lights as well as a window switch so the best way to go about this would be to split the circuit as much as you possibly can to see where at on the circuit it is so on this fuse when it comes down it comes to connector c3 and then it also goes to connector c2 on the fuse box so what we'll do is we'll disconnect one of those and see if the test light goes out so I've already diagnosed this, so I'm just gonna show you which connector it is. That's C1, that's C2, and then all the way in the back of it is C3. So I'm gonna disconnect C3 for you real quick. And the light went out. Now, next step is to break it down by each circuit. So we had pins six, seven, and 19. So it's, let's see, six, seven, and 19. All right, so now the only thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna touch the pins. Like I said, it's, six seven and 19. so touch pin six my light lights back up so that means that on pin six is my short to ground so pin seven pin seven short to ground is the glove box lamp let's go take a look at the glove box lamp and I've already got it pulled apart, but this is exactly how I found it. The glove box lamp is shorting itself out on the dash frame. All right, so thank you guys for hanging out with me on this one. It was just a very quick down and dirty diag. Um, no thrills, no big fancy tools, just a test light, which is available on the website if you guys want them. Um, and we found that short to ground granted that one was an extremely easy one where it was just a careless error on the previous shops um, installation of the dash but <clears throat> the diagnostic process still holds true whether it was a little bit more difficult to find you still want to go in there figure out which circuit is actually a shorted and then go from there so Thank you guys for hanging out, and always remember, did you die today, bro?